today. So we're still leaving tomorrow, aren't we? I'm not sure. The referring doctors didn't realize that his hiccups were... Hiccups? With this duration and intensity, most likely pathological, and it could mean it's serious. Are you avoiding me? No. So I shouldn't be at all concerned that you're treating another doctor's patient for hiccups instead of going on the vacation I spent a week planning. There is a reason I need to stay with this case a while longer, but I can't tell you what it is. So you admit you lied to me, and now you're asking me to trust you? Yes. Okay. No sign of heart or arterial problems, but he's been hiccuping on and off for over a week. Nice. I'm hooked. You can get back to your shift at the ER. Except, as far as the ER is concerned, you're on vacation, right? I postponed a trip because I'm concerned about the patient. Explains why you did chase and came to the differential. It's not why you ran the test. You told me to. Well, I'm not your boss, so you usually take great pleasure in pointing out. Hey, you don't still have the hots for me, do you? I care about the patient, and I care about the people who work on your team. They've been through a lot lately. I just thought I... It was Florence Nightingale. Now, you're going to nurse us back to spiritual and mental oneness. That would make sense if we were having this conversation a week ago. Think what you want. That I'm here to get a job, that I'm here to wrap you in swaddling clothes. Problem is, I think neither. Neither makes sense. The only thing that does, doesn't. Pathological hiccups plus inability to balance. Go. What she said. Brain would connect the two. Could, if Cameron hadn't already CT'd his head. Empty is her boyfriend's calendar. What does this have to do with Chase? Nothing. Not sure yet. Patient is on a jihad against commercial flowers. He's picketed several nurseries. Organophosphate poisoning can cause both hiccups and... No GI problems, no hypersalivation. It's possible it's not connected to a protest. MS wouldn't show on the CT and his name's Swenson. Scandinavians have an increased susceptibility to MS. Better theory than he's faking it. The clogs have it. Do a lumbar puncture to confirm MS. I guess we'll just continue to twiddle our thumbs. God, I hope that's a euphemism. How am I supposed to do a lumbar puncture on a patient with intractable hiccups? I'm trying to figure out what that could be a euphemism for. You'll find a way. I've been looking for you. And I've been thinking about you. Just hadn't reached the looking stage yet. Which is the problem? You asked for a day. I gave you two. You told me you had a secret you couldn't share. I respected that. Now I don't know what's worse. Blowing off our vacation to hang around house or continuing to blow it off when he won't hang around you. If you think I'm the least bit interested in house. I don't know what I'm supposed to think. I know this looks bad. And... I don't care how it looks. I care what it is. And you're not telling me what it is. I'm trying to trust you, but... I need a little more time. No. This has nothing to do with house. Yeah, well, it has nothing to do with me either. <laughs> Not anymore. Let me know when I can come pick up my things. There you go. Damn, I was hoping it would erupt something. Your favor's repaid. Patient's cured. It's already packing for another Earth Day extravaganza next week. He almost died. Can't take a few days at home with his family? People only change after trauma if they wanted to change before the trauma. Or if they'd watch too many after school specials. You talking about Chase? I'm talking about you. Lost husband number one 
No surprise that the death of a colleague would make you question another long-term lease. You teaching commitment classes? Because I thought you were too busy with your lecture. I'm sure that was going to be hysterical. Let me just give you the cliff notes. Don't try to dump him by dumping cases on me. I told you I never wanted to dump Chase. Absolutely. You want him to dump you. It's totally different. Much less guilt. Either way, you're out of reasons to avoid him. Cutter was a pretty dumb one to begin with. I should never have postponed our vacation. I should never have planned it. I found the ring in your sock. I didn't want you to propose out of some sort of knee-jerk reaction. What happened to Cutler? I guess you don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm not. I, I don't care what happens. I just want it to happen. Are you, are you proposing to me? I'm proposing that you propose to me. After I broke up with you. After you ruined my planned proposal, you expect me to... I'm not expecting. 